Okay, so in this video, we are going to talk about React hooks and why I think they're bad for your code. Okay, maybe me saying bad for your code is a bit harsh. Maybe they make your code look a little bit weirder, but I'll explain. So I wrote this article a while ago talking about why hooks are bad for your code. And I'll admit, when I wrote this article, I was in a bit of an angry place. I was upset with a project I was refactoring about how difficult it was to work with hooks for it, the restrictions that hooks gave. And I wrote this article in the height of that anger. So I might not have been in the right place when I wrote this, but my point still stands in a less harsh way. Now, of course, with a title like this, an article will get a lot of attention. It's got 20 comments, most of them not so nice, but I won't talk about that in this video. The point of this video is to justify why I think hooks aren't that amazing. So before I continue, I want to stress this fact. 36% of the internet is powered by WordPress, but only 0.3% is powered by React. So that's a very small amount, less than 1% of the web, whereas more than a third of the web uses WordPress. If you use React all the time, if you've started web dev with React and use it for a job, and that's your main library, then you would think everyone uses React, the internet uses React, your world revolves around React. But don't get engulfed by it. React is good, and React does a lot of things well. But there are some things it doesn't do so well. And as a developer, it's helpful to try out different frameworks, different libraries, different programming languages, to take your mind out of the bubble. And this stat highlights that. Okay, so why do I think hooks are bad? Well, for the most part, I think things like the use state, use memo, use effect, these hooks are okay. My main issue is with the third party hooks, the React libraries that use hooks. My issue is that a lot of them use hooks when they don't have to use hooks. They could allow you to import a function which would work better for your code and allow you to write cleaner, better abstracted code instead of having to write a hook. This is a small React app that does one thing. You click on a button and it redirects you to a page. There is the success page, which is this, your here text. And there is the app.js page that renders the button that you click on. As you can see, this is really simple. It uses a hook from React Router you click on the button and it runs a function that calls the hook. Now, to me personally, I don't like nesting my functions. I think React components can get quite large and complicated. And I know that the idea is not to do that, but these things happen. So what I like to do to have my code be cleaner and more readable is just have one level of functions, something like this. I will take this out and put this here. Now, of course, that doesn't work because the handle redirect function relies on this navigate hook. Okay, no problem. Let's move this into here. That would be my first thing to do. And you can't do that because hooks need to be called at the top level. This is one of the two rules of hooks. First one is you have to call it in a functional component. The second rule is that it needs to be called at the top level. Fine, okay, let's do that. So now we have to pass navigate in as an argument to our function, and then it will work fine. Now, stop for a second. If you were showing this to a beginner, someone who is new to code, who's new to React, and they say, why am I calling a function on line four to pass that function into the hand redirect function just to run it? It seems like a lot of work just to redirect to another page in the website. Is there a way React Router could have just had a navigate to function? that could have just worked straight away without having to use a hook? I don't know. But something like this would be much easier. You could move it around your code base without having to worry about the rules of hooks. Now this gets a bit complicated when TypeScript is involved because with TypeScript, you have to give your argument a type. So by default, this is any, but it helps to give it an actual type. So in this case, the type isn't too difficult. It's navigate function. So if I was using TypeScript, I'd import navigate function from here and add it 
as a type here. But let's say I was using something like uState. Imagine I wrote this and I was passing either the A or B variable down into a function. What type is that? Hovering over B reveals the type and it's react.dispatch with a generic of react set state action and another generic of string. That's not an easy type, that's quite a complex type. And imagine having to type that in to here if you're using TypeScript. This level of complexity could all be avoided if you were able to put hooks inside the function that you wanted to use them in, instead of being forced to call them on the top level. Now, I've heard arguments for this saying, the benefit of this is that your code is memory safe. This is how functional programming works. So this is the best way to do it. And this supports the fibers background that React uses. Now let's look to other frameworks. Let's see how Vue does a navigate to or redirect in a page. So this is using Vue Router and you have the component based approach, which to be fair, React Router does support. So let's not focus on that. Let's focus on the functional way of rerouting or redirecting. And you can see it has this dot router dot push. And this to me seems a lot more convenient than having to call a hook. Again, let's look at Svelte. And Svelte has a navigate function that you can call inside another function. You don't have to call this navigate function on the top level of a different function. You can just use it straight away as is. Now, to be fair to this Svelte Navigator tool, it does have a hooks version. If we scroll to the API section, you can see there is a use navigate hook that works a similar way to the use navigate hook in React Router. But what I like here is that you have the option to either use the hook or to use a function. You're not forced to use the hook. And there are cases where I use a hook and I get these two arguments. but I only want to use, say, the argument on the right. So this argument is completely useless to me. This results in code that looks like this on line six. And to me, it looks a bit weird. Now I've heard you can get rid of this and have the comma, but to me, this looks a bit weirder. Isn't there a way for me to just run a function without having to destructure an array and add a comma? Remember what I said at the beginning, that React is good. React is popular but there are other tools out there. There are other ways of doing things. And just because this is the way React does it, doesn't mean it's the best way. Anyway, I've just scratched the surface of what I've written in this article. If you want to know more, go ahead and read this whole thing. Like I said, I was in the height of anger when I wrote this, but the main point stands that hooks aren't the best way and there must be an easier, more elegant way to handle this sort of logic on the front end. Thanks for watching. Feel free to add questions and comments in the section below and I will see you in the next one.